Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are doing something a little different which a lot of you have actually requested in my past videos but before we get started, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe because I really appreciate it and also don't forget to comment below because I love interacting with all of you guys so today I am finally doing my first city review and I'm doing Rhinestone Island by Flux Trance and if you're not familiar with who he is I'll put a link to his channel and one of his videos about this city down below and also before I start I want to mention that uh, like for example here a lot of the assets I didn't download because there was like maybe like 600 of them or more to download so a lot of the map is actually missing but in terms of the infrastructure it's all there so but yeah a lot of the houses are actually missing and like for example the airport is actually missing but that's okay it's an airport an airport but so basically what I'll be looking for is urban design aspects traffic layout traffic flow uh, land use facilities the social impacts public transport and noise issues things kind of like that and I also should mention that I'm not I don't want it to seem like I'm attacking the creator I'm just my plan is to outline the good aspects, some of the bad aspects, how it could be fixed. And yeah, so all my comments are from good intention. Let's have a look around the city. I actually haven't had too much of a look yet. So most of it, I mean, I've had a very quick glance, but most of it I haven't really looked at in detail. So I thought we can do that together and you can really see my, well, you can hear my first impression of certain things. So I noticed in this area, we're right near the city, and yes there's a, there's a fire, there's a couple of fires happening, but um, it's on pause so it doesn't really matter. So the first area I want to mention is this whole area here, and I'm very interested by this type of roundabout intersection triple layer, also with double train lines and tram lines. It, very interesting to me and then it goes into tunnels but what concerns me the most is that this is quite a large area and it all has to feed into this one area here and it kind of concerns me because this is basically the main way in and out of this whole area and this is quite a large area which would contain a lot of people and it looks like this could be maybe a tourist area along the beach so there's going to be a lot of traffic flowing around here so I feel as if it might have been better to incorporate some kind of main roads maybe one through here and also maybe a main road that connects even just to here simply would make it more connected because you kind of want to spread out the traffic you don't want to make them all flow into one area which it's doing here not that this is a bad design but um, it's an interesting design, but yeah, I just connect more main roads like for example that road would go over there on a positive note There's since this is quite a main use area This this is going to be a main road as you can see. I like how he has actually raised the tram. Let me zoom in and since it's so close to the this major intersection it's actually good to raise up the public transport over the over this main road because it's going to reduce any uh, congestion because there's already this road here and this road here and then adding this if this tram line was actually to connect to the road I feel like there would be so much traffic building up and then it may actually flow onto this intersection here which would also create congestion further on down wherever so yeah I think it's a, a good idea to have it raised up like that and I love the, the use of all the, the pathways everywhere because if you're familiar with my cities you'll know that I love doing paths everywhere because it helps encourage walkability so yeah there's a lot of paths and I, I really do like that and um, the creator has done a good job putting paths everywhere which is what I really like and also what we like to encourage in real life also I like this because before I was looking at the zoning colors and this is all low density residential like these ones here and I like that he's actually I like that he's put the tram station the tram station here and then he's actually growing some plants to act as a sound barrier between the public transport and the residential area so and I think that's a good idea because it's also a large road which will create noise as well and also it 
creates just a nice atmosphere having some gardens and some seating areas and pathways as well. Okay, so what else? I do like that the public transport, it doesn't just go into the, it doesn't just flow into the city area, it flows way out into the suburbs as well. Okay, this is quite interesting here, and I'm guessing maybe there was a train station here or here, I'm not too sure, M maybe something's missing there because the train tracks suddenly stop. But um, I like that it's raised down because even though if it's a tram and it might not create too many issues, but let's just say if this was an actual train station, having the train station raised down would actually reduce so many noise issues, issues because the train could be kind of loud depending on the train I guess so having it raised down is actually a good idea because for one it's kind of out of the way you don't see it and also the noise issue is reduced as well and actually near where I live there's a tram and they actually do the same type of thing and it's actually worked out really good and it functions a lot better and also I've noticed that he has done a method that I also like to do which is you don't always need to connect these roads to the main road you just stop them very very close to the main road so it's close enough to actually connect in terms of pedestrian access but there's no road access the reason why I do that is so it's not creating another intersection here and here because if it were to connect here there would be a tiny little gap and they drive along stop here, drive, stop, drive, stop, drive, stop, and that would be just really, really annoying. So reducing the amount of intersection is actually a good idea to just to help with the traffic flow in general. And so since there's, this isn't going to many areas, it's probably maybe commercial, I would think, being near public transport, there's not going to be a lot of traffic because it's not going to anywhere else. So you can get away with doing those types of road connections and having just one con main connection. So yeah, like I was saying before, it would have been better to actually continue this main road over to here somewhere. I do notice that it goes under, but then it's not really, oh yeah, it's not really connecting out to the other areas. So. Yeah, I think it just would have been better, even if it was a smaller road connecting over to here, I think it would have worked out a bit better, which would also have helped with the traffic coming from this facility right here. Okay, and another thing, another thing that I love that he's done in this city is how he has this road here that basically that basically goes straight over the highway and it has no highway connection at all and then over here is the actual main highway connection and so this is a really really good idea and which I would really highly encourage you all to do oh there's a file but anyway so I would never have just one connection going over the highway I always separate these two areas so I have the on and off ramp access to the highway and then I have a quick route that goes over the highway just so this area isn't mixing it mixing in with this traffic here it separates them and that'll completely remove so much congestion and you'll notice that he's continued the highway on a little bit as well over to this harbor area and also to the downtown or well, the kind of downtown area here which is actually a really good idea because it's always important to have really easy access to the downtown area since there's so many people going there so many businesses and other vehicles trying to get there so yeah it's it's a good idea to do that and I really do like that he's done that and he's also incorporated a lot of those simple roads that go straight over the, and don't connect to the highway for example here and here and also here and then once again, he's done quite a, quite a big, huge, crazy intersection, but it's not connecting to this simple type of bridge over the highway. So he's done well there.
So I was looking at these two areas here, this suburb here next to the airport, and then this suburb here, which is kind of nearby the downtown area. I noticed there's not really a main connecting road. There's the dirt road, but I think it would have been wise to actually incorporate a proper road so they don't always have to rely on the highway and mix in with the highway because sometimes going such a, a short distance, say you need to go from here to here, if you, have to, if you have to get into the highway, sometimes that can be quite annoying, so you might avoid that just because you don't want to deal with the traffic, so it might have been better to incorporate a, a proper road here that isn't dirt, so a road actually like that. Although it is low density, so perhaps there isn't too much demand to get from here to here. But I would suspect that as soon as you put a proper road going across, there would be some people using it quite frequently. So it's actually the same with this area here, like I was just mentioning. This suburb here is kind of disconnected from the other areas. I mean, I mean, yes, they have these main roads here that connect them to the downtown area and the highway. But I feel as though there, there really needs to be some kind of access point here, even if it's, if you're not going to do a road connection, at least do a, a pedestrian pathway, because, I mean, if you, let's say you're moving houses from here to here, and then you ha had to drive like 10 minutes to go maybe 50 meters, that could be quite annoying. So, even though they're different suburbs, I feel as though there should be some kind of connecting road, even if it's not a big road, just a little road connecting it would benefit them quite a lot and once again he's incorporated a lot of pathways which I really do like but I'm not I'm not sure about where this pathway is going right here because they can't really cross but oh well so if you haven't noticed yet this episode is basically focus focusing on the traffic aspects first and then the next episode, I'll cover all the other aspects that I can find in this city. But uh, traffic is something that's really obvious to me. I'm more familiar with traffic layout, traffic issues. So there's one thing over here, and I'm not going to tell you what the issue is. I'm actually going to leave it up to all of you guys to work out, and then I'll tell you in the next episode. So there's an issue here somewhere. I'm not going to point out what exactly it is, but it's something to do with the highway and it's wrong, no offense, but it's really, really wrong and it can create so many issues in real life and it's something that we always, always, always avoid doing. So I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you think is the issue here? And I, you may need to look closely to actually see what the issue is, but there is a big issue here. Yeah, some people may pick it up, some may not, which is okay. Anyway, anyway, let me know what you think. So I think I might stop the episode here, but I will continue on with this little reviewing episode mini-series. I think it'll most likely be a two-part series because I don't want to go too in-depth. I just want to cover the main issues that other people might have themselves and also issues that people could learn from. So it would have been better if... I downloaded all the mods, but I think if I'd done that, the game would have been so laggy that it would have been such a tedious video to watch it, to watch it lagging so much. So, yeah, like I said, that's all I'm going to do in this episode. In the next episode, I'll focus on more different things, see what I can find. So thank you all for watching. I will be doing more different city reviews in the future. So I'll be asking for suggestions on cities I should review. So you could think about that maybe. Also don't forget to let me know what you think that issue is over here that I'll reveal in the next episode. And yeah, so I'll see you all in the next episode. And we shall see what we can find. Bye for now.